All right, so I'm looking at the back porch today and I'm seeing my porch furniture uh -huh. and I'm thinking, do I actually have to cover this stuff at some point? So funny you, yeah. you brought that up because I actually brought stuff in yeah. this morning because you know, like there's a rug, wet rugs are just the worst. The so worst. I was like, yeah, I, I brought some stuff in for that very reason because it's just not worth it. So yes, yeah, so if you have some outdoor patio furniture or rugs that you don't want to get wet, bring them in tonight because they are going to get wet by tomorrow morning. It's been a really interesting day around the Northwest. It starts out with this time lapse. Uh, from our camera over in the Dalles on the Oregon Veterans Home. Now, I captured a frame of video every second, which is pretty frequent, so it's not much of a time lapse, but I did that in hopes of catching a lightning strike, and we did. Watch well, right about in here, right in the beginning here as I hit the button here. There it is, that was it. And it didn't look like much, but it is proof that we are getting some lightning out there. This is live. That same exact shot still looks pretty ominous out that way. Haven't seen a lot of reports of rain. It's cooled off with the cloud cover and those westerly winds will do nothing but increase over the next 24 hours. Now you can see this line of showers and storms that we're watching that we're looking at from our sky cam there in the Dallas. It's not moving very much. Uh, we are we're in an area of upper level winds right now where they're not very strong. They're stronger over in eastern Oregon. They'll pick up as this weather system in southern Oregon and northern California moves away. We had some lightning strikes down around Eugene earlier in the day, but nothing new in the Willamette Valley in the last little bit. Satellite imagery is super interesting looking. First of all, the smoke stands out, right? That's the Dixie fire down in northern California. That's the source of most of the smoke, the heavy smoke in, pardon me, in eastern Oregon. We are getting smoke still from the fires in southwestern Oregon. That's what's made our sky hazy. But now look at the cloud cover. It's mixing that smoke around. So we've got these thunderstorm clusters here, here, and in northeast Oregon, and the smoke. Yet our rain is going to come from out there off the Pacific Ocean, and that's why we're going to actually get rid of the smoke. Hey, this is a picture from yesterday. Pilot Todd Coombs shot this of the fire in Northern California as he flew by. So again, you can see these big plumes of smoke and then generating some cloud over the fire themselves. Our temperatures right now are a lot cooler than the same time yesterday. 15 degrees cooler up in Kelso, 26 degrees cooler in the Dalles, and 20 degrees cooler in Bend because of the cloud cover. And again, this is live from our camera up at Timberline Lodge, Mount Hood National Forest, looking south and southeast. East. And that is a very ominous looking scene as well. And the temperatures dropped on down to 57 and they're getting some outflow winds from those storms at 27 miles an hour. So it's getting stormy up there. The fire weather warnings continue for much of eastern Oregon because of the lightning that we're getting. And that is a new warning right there. That little polygon that is a severe thunderstorm warning for the next little bit for the next half hour or so over in parts of eastern Oregon because these storms have the potential and obviously are becoming severe, meaning large hail, strong gusty winds. So lightning, not much rain. So this is not a good fire weather day. We're getting lightning, which will be followed by really strong winds later tonight and tomorrow. Not a good recipe. Now you can see the storms just blossoming over the state. But again, our rain comes from that system right there. That will bring us the showers tomorrow morning. And that's why Dan and I are bringing our patio furniture inside. Outside right now in Portland, it's 84 and the freezing level of 14,200 feet. Tonight, showers after about midnight though, and then showers tomorrow and then sun in the afternoon. And when the sun does come out and the clouds break up, we won't be looking up at a gray haze. We'll be looking up a blue sky again as that wildfire smoke over us gets pushed away. But look, by the end of the seven day forecast, it's over 100 degrees again. Ashley so, wants it to be known that she also has maybe patio I'm, furniture. Maybe I'm bringing mine in too, mm -hmm. not just you two. Maybe I heard she has, she has great furniture oh. outside. She wants everyone to know. I've, make, I've never seen it. Have you I'll seen make it? Up no, my I've mind. never been no, invited over. Even, so I've I don't seen know. a photo yeah, of it, so right. we'll, mm -hmm. we'll see.